G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're going to have a look at the Moa Garberg stainless steel knife with the polymer sheath and also the Moa Niv survival kit for the Garberg and the cans bowl. So this is the Garberg. I had it a couple of years now and I had the option of the stainless steel or the high carbon one. So I went with the stainless steel, they're a lot easier to keep. And you just give them a clean when you get home, a bit of a strop and some oil and that's it done. Just put it back in its sheath and it should be good. So like we said, we've got the polymer sheath on this one. When I bought this, I actually bought it in the leather sheath, but then went out and bought the polymer sheath for it just because I just like the look of it. <laughs> no other reason, the leather sheath was good. I liked it, it's good quality. I just like the slim look of this as it is. Look on the back first, you've got somewhere where you pass it over your belt. And this bit here is actually for hanging it off your button. So you just open up, put your button through there, so your button's on the inside and hang it off your shirt or your pants anywhere you want. The blade, as you can see by this, has been used a lot and sharpened a bit, but it still looks in pretty good condition. So I always wipe it down and put a bit of oil on it. It's dry at the moment because I've been using it. But as you can see, it's a knife, nice knife. Full tang all the way through and comes out of here. Now this part here, you can use for battering, breaking stones, breaking the glass if you want to in an emergency. Now you can also use that for striking the ferro rod because it's got a nice 90 degree angle. And that's nice too, but this side is just a little bit sharper. The top here, it's been ground flat at 90 degrees, so you can actually use this for striking the ferro rod too. The grip, the handle. Now I don't have the biggest of hands wrapping around. They say they're large, wide, and medium in length, so it's little fingers. But that still sits around really nice around the knife to hold it. Never had it slip out my hand. I've used it in wet weather. I just noticed I've got a tidy the blade up there. It looks like I knocked it on something. But getting back to it. I've used it for carving, doing feather sticks, and the Scandi grind makes it so much easier for doing the feather sticks for me. It's what the one I prefer. You may prefer a different type of blade or a different uh, cut on it. But no, I prefer the Scandi. It's also easier to sharpen on the stone. Just lay it flat and pull it across. So much easier. For me, that is. You might find it easier with a different, uh, different blade at a different angle, but I just like the Scandi. What else is it? So the blade length is 109 millimeters. The thickness on this one is 3.2. Real strong. I've used this for battening, or should I say, I've battened this for preparing wood for the fire and it looks like it hasn't even been a few little marks but basically it looks like it's near enough new still top here and you can see where i've been striking it and feel it like i said i've had it for a couple of years the knife length from tip is 229 millimeters but when you got it in the polymer sheath it adds up to 242 millimeters from the tip here to the top of the knife, and that's not including your belt loop. I like said so the blade is stainless steel. Uh, we've got it in black. I think it only comes in black in this uh, polymer, uh, polymer or polyamide, if you want to call it. Sheath material is the polymer. And the total weight of all that is 207 grams. 
I do have a couple more knives and I think I've progressed onto one of the knife I've got so I bought recently which just feels a little bit nicer but all in all this is a very nice knife strong does everything you want it to do like I said it feels good in the hand even this pattern on the grip here it's nothing annoying it's not sticking in you it's just giving a nice grip and like I said it's not slipping anywhere it's not slipped out my hand when I've been using it and I bought this it actually came out of the box sharp razor sharp as they say so be careful if you do buy one because they do come sharp and as long as you use your stone on it and give it a strop and then oil it you should have no problem with the blade so now let's put that to one side and this is what I bought as soon as I was able to here in Australia. It's the Moranov survival kit for the Garberg and the Cansball. So the Garberg and the Cansball have the same sheath, same shape, just different colours. And you can see on the back here, and I'll show you what they're for in a moment. So buying this, what we've got with it. It's the uh, polymer sheet, uh, sorry, the material is polymer. We've got a reflex power cord on it. So if you wanted to, you could add a striker to that instead of using your knife. We've actually got the more Niv striker on it. Now I've only used this once, I think. Let's have a look. Let me go get the paint off it. Not a bad strike on it. I can smell it. No, I don't think this damaged the table, so that's all good. It's got a little knurled pattern on it, which actually is the same as the Garberg pattern. So I hadn't noticed that before now. And that's a little attachment part, which actually goes on the sheet, which I'll be showing you so shortly. Now that's got a nice click in there. So that's not gonna go anywhere. And what I found is the easiest way to get this out is just twist it and let the rounded part here or the opposite side pull it out for you. So give it a twist and it pops out nice and easy. Twist and out. As you probably notice on the other side with a diamond sharpener. In emergencies, I think this will be real nice. It doesn't feel the best when I'm running the blade down it. It's quite coarse. I think that might smooth out after use a few times. Let's have a look, see what it comes out like. See what I mean about these blades? You just hold it flat and draw it back. And just, the angle's there for you and it just guides you across. Yeah, it is a bit coarse, but in emergency, that'd be good. I'll be honest, it's not as good as the DC4 sharpening stone before people start having a go about that. But in emergency, that will work really well. Okay, on the insides, you can see the three points will be about here, here, and here. I hope you can see that. And what they do is they click into these on the sheath. They say, once it's on, you can't get it off. Well, that's not 100% true because I put it on here and I thought, bugger, I wanted to do a video first. And what I ended up using was the plastic car door and trim um, tools. And I was lucky enough to get it underneath and just force it down a little bit where my thumb is. And I was able to just force that off and it came off with no damage. So it is possible if you get it stuck on, but it's not made to. 
So before we click it, all the lines here, the shaping is really nice and it's been done to match up with the edges of your polymer sheath. And there's only one way you can get it on. You've got a wider end here and a narrower there. If you try to put it on the narrow end, that's as far as you are going to get. Oh, might force it further, but don't want to. So now you'll see the proper way will go all the way up past the second one before clicking in. So let's make this final. Push it all the way on. And that was a good click. And you can see the fit is really nice all the way around. Really good quality build, as you expect from Moranov. So now that's the Moranov Garberg with the survival kit. Now you can either buy this as just a knife with a polymer sheath or with a leather sheath. Or you could buy the survival kit as a standalone. So if you've already got the more and if, you could buy that and attach it straight to it. Or you can buy it as a kit, as you see here, which is the survival kit, which has got the diamond sharpening stone on it your fire steel or your um, fire rod and your Garberg and if you've got the high carbon one it will still fit it's exactly the same sheath exactly the same shape knife it's just different uh, material so that will go in nice and quick so there it is that's a more niv Garberg stainless steel knife with polymer sheath and it will also fit the cans bowl. The cans bowl as you most realize is green. They only make this in black at the moment. I did contact Moranif and ask them if they're going to be making it in green uh, for the cans bowl and they said they'll pass that on to the design team and see what they think and that's the last I've heard so hopefully one day they will make it in green to match the cans ball so you can have one colour all together so I hope you've enjoyed the video and this simple little attachment to the survival kit on the Garberg here I think is a really good one and let's hope you do too if something that you want I'll put links down below so you can get it from here in Australia that is I'm still attempting to source different uh, suppliers around the world so I can add their links too so if you've enjoyed the video and you're not a subscriber please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all upcoming videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.